Hello folks and welcome to another uh, RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial presented by DickJutsu.com uh, Today's tutorial is uh, another door one. This one was uh, based upon a request so uh, I hope this answers the question that was posed. Uh, as always this tutorial is for RPG Maker VX Ace but it should work on similar versions as well. There's nothing too overly complicated that's specifically for Ace. To, to make things easier this time I've included a text version of the steps to go along with it in the description of the video. For this to work well, you will need to check out my last tutorial uh, on how to make the doors open and close and how to use basic switches for that. So, here we go. Step 1. Create your original map. This will be the first map that your character is on that he's going to leave when he goes through the door. Second up, create a destination map. Uh, for the purpose of this example, the house is uh, our origination map, the basement is our destination map. You then want to place a door in the desired location in your origination map, that's the house, and for an example we're going to call it origination door, because that's where we're going to originate from. Next up, you want to place another door in the desired location in the destination map which we're going to call destination door for this example. When you're actually making your own thing, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, door 1, door 2, indoor, outdoor, whatever. Next up, you want to arrange the half open and open door switches as discussed in our last video, which I'll link to in the description. Number 6, on the origination door action, you want to set the trigger to action button. Uh, I'm sorry, on the origination door event, not action. Uh, set the trigger to action button, and that way, whenever you come up to it, hit the button, it activates, and you're good to go. You want to have your origination door event activate the half open switch when you hit the button. And you can use a little sound effect and a short wait to uh, make it gel a little better. That way, it won't just go to half switch and then go on to the next one and, you know, open straight up. The longer you put the wait, the longer it'll be at half open, so the shorter weight will make it look like it just swings open. Uh, the longer weight will make it like open halfway, open all the way. It's entirely dependent on what you want to accomplish with it. I decided to use a, uh, a 10 point weight, which is uh, basically 10 sixtieths of a frame. Uh, next up, you want to activate the door switch open. Like I said, you want you want the half switch open. And then, if you're using your sound effect in a short wait, whatever, and then after the wait, activate the door open switch. If you've set it up like it was before, this should create uh, the ability to walk through the door now with the switch open. Which means, now we're going to set a movement route using the player. Make sure that wait until event is activated. Uh, or wait, wait until completion is activated. You want to turn on through. Uh, this will make everything else much easier in the long run. So this way, if through's on, even if you didn't set up your door open switch properly, it's still going to work, or should still work. Have a move up twice, and then activate transparency. This will make him move up through the door, one step into the next room, and then he'll become invisible. Next up, you want to activate a transfer player event. and Set the space just below the destination door. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to move him from the origination map, to the destination map. But since we made him transparent, before we transferred him, he won't like just be hovering there in the middle of stuff, and he won't appear before he comes through the door. That, that's, that's the importance of uh, activating transparent first. Another thing is, don't use a wait after you activate transparent. Just go straight through. So he's going to disappear, and then transfer straight to the next map. That's what you want to do. It, it'll make it look better. And you can do whatever type of transfer you like, but a simple wash is uh you know it's probably the best bet uh now you want to create another move route with the player uh, once again with weight activated but you want to keep this in this in the origination map door event because if you put it on the destination door you'll now have to activate the destination door which will be incredibly impossible because you're still going to be transparent so with our transparency and our through still activated our move route with the player is going to be move up once now deactivate transparency so he's going to move up into the doorway 
and become visible again. Now have a move up twice, and then deactivate through. With that completed, he'll be above the uh, door. Deactivate the door open switch. With the door open switch deactivated, the half open switch will take over. That's why, going back to our last tutorial, door open has to be the most important switch in the hierarchy. Remember, number three will come with uh, more importance than number two. So if both number two and number three are active, number three will replace number two. So we're going to deactivate the door open switch. Uh, and once again, you can have a closing sound effect and a short wait, just as we discussed with opening it. And finally, just deactivate the half open switch and the door will close behind you. And ta-da! Uh, if you want to have them be able to leave the basement and go back to the house or whatever your maps are, just reverse everything and replace origination map with destination map. You just have to put in the same thing, moving the character from the destination doorway to just behind the origination doorway. And same switches should work. Now the only thing is, if you have multiple doors in the area, you have to create multiple switches. So, you know, uh, half open one, half open two, half open three, door open one, two, and three uh, for each different sets of doors, but you can keep them in sets since we're moving from place to place and each door is kind of like a portal. But that's pretty much it. It's a, uh, once you get the hang of it, a pretty simple process. So I hope that helps. I hope that answers the question that was asked of me. And uh, if not, feel free to ask another question in the comments or uh, ask for more information, whatever. Here's what we just made together in action. Thanks for coming, thanks for playing!